Why are you so close? I don't know, because I don't know what to do. I'm sitting back so I look skinny. I want to get my whole arms. <laughs> I want to get my hench arm in there. Right? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's like the 4th of July. <laughs> Kia ora or hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Uji Sir, if you didn't know. And today, I am with my beautiful friends. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Jared and I am from the UK. My name is Beth and I'm from Australia. And today, I thought it would be really cool to talk about EPIC since we are all EPIC applicants of 2020. So I wrote a list of questions that I thought would be really helpful for you guys. Um, and I thought we could answer them since we all come from different backgrounds um, and different recruiting agencies and all that. What are the different programs that you can apply for? I wrote it down. Don't worry if you don't know. I was about to say, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> so um, there are currently four different programs that you can apply for in Korea. They are EPIC, GEPIC, SMO and PO. EPIC is all of Korea. SMO is specifically Seoul. Gepik is Gyeonggi, so it's like Seoul, but the out of suburbs of Seoul. And Editing Odessa here, I just wanted to jump on. I actually meant G-O-E, but it's more for the scenic areas of Korea, so more in the southern region um, around Busan area. So if you like scenery, if you don't mind rural, then this is probably the best program for you. Did we all apply for SMO? Oh, I didn't apply for Seoul. You I applied for Epic. Epic. I went with a recruiter and I applied for Daegu. Daegu, okay. So Daegu is a very, very hot place, which I've soon learned that is very bad for me. Yeah, so we both wanted Seoul. Yes. And um, we both applied for Seoul. Yes. And we thought we were going to get Seoul. Uh, and uh, here surprise, we are. bitch. Here we, are. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> so let's go on to recruiters. So. Me and Jared both used Corvia. Um, um, and I went through an American company called the CIEE. -E. I would not yeah, recommend. Yeah, look, wouldn't recommend. Granted, they were lovely, lovely humans. But was it worth <coughs> $2,000? Yeah, so it was, um, it cost me 2,000 American dollars. So in Australian money, it was like $2,500. Um, and it was meant to include things like an orientation weekend. I got. Um, another level of insurance, which is really nice, um, but that's all I really, really got for my money. So we were meant to have an orientation weekend um, that never happened because Corona. Yeah. So good times, good times. And they're an American company. Oh, and the other thing, because they were an American company, they didn't know. Yeah. As an as an Australian, we have different things that to do, um, and they just couldn't. They, not that they couldn't, they didn't know what I had to do. I think because Corvia covers that as well, I think it's very American kind of led. So a lot of the information is more to, directed towards American, American. people. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about Corvia. So yeah, we both heard from YouTube, I guess. And mm -hmm. everyone talks about Corvia as the best. There are a lot of recruiters. There's Korean yes. Horizon, you can go TIFL UK. Um, there's a bunch, but we did Corvia. Mm. Um, and how was your experience? Like, what's the what's the bonuses of having a recruiter? Well, the Would bonuses, say? I'd Someone say, are, on your ass, giving you to get your shit done. Yeah, pretty there's much. There's that, but also you have like another community on top of Epic that you've kind of gone through the process with. So I think the best thing was on my side. I had a recruiter that was replying to me. 24 Who was hours. your recruiter? I had Jennifer and she was lovely on the interview that we had. We had to have an interview to get into Corvia and then get into Epic, but that's mm. a different story. You had to but, get into Corvia? Um, we had a little small kind of video interview where we yeah. talked to recruits, which was Damn. hilarious. Because Maybe just because I paid money I didn't have to pay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> True. Like, uh, I do want to point out with your one, you're like guaranteed to get a placement for yes. yours. So as part of advertisement, they was with Cor um, Corvia, you can get. Yeah. for the next round so yeah so i would say for me with corvia i had an interesting experience i applied in 2019 of november um and they promised me that i would get into epic the september rounds was that summer uh, or fall fall ah uh, fall ah uh, okay yeah so i was actually planning to go last year at the end of last year and i had three or four recruiters they kept on bouncing me between different recruiters that 
it wasn't solid so they would just forget information and they'd be like well, did you send this and I'm like yeah I sent that three weeks ago and they're like well you need to resend it because we can't find it so it was a bit of a mess and I think the thing was Korea is a hot spot right now because of K-pop, because of that Hulu wave. So last year uh, applying for Epic was really popular, right? So like there was a massive amount of people applying which meant I think Corvia couldn't handle the amount of people they were trying to help. Well every time they were saying like oh this is the most we've ever had. But... Yeah. But in the end, I still got a placement, even though it wasn't Seoul, I just took it anyway because I was like, I've waited a year and a half to be here. <laughs> well, my interview with Corvia was interesting because I got asked, um, what are the cultural differences that you have from the UK to Korea? And I was just like, All well, <laughs> I mean, like, I guess the hierarchy between like the elders um, and the young. And I was like, like in England, I can just go, what's up, grandma? <laughs> and I realized what I said immediately after and I just like, I think if you are capable, yeah, true. If you are more than intelligent enough to, if you can work it out. Well, I screwed up though during mine, so I do appreciate Corvia for backing my ass up. Okay, so with Corvia or just with recruiters, because you're not going straight applying through Epic, you're second. Mm -hmm. You're like second applicants, so there is a good chance you might not get your first choice because they have Epic. This Africa. is what I noticed wasn't really shared a lot when we were looking on YouTube. They were like, oh, they're going to help you get through, but actually, you're not guaranteed. No, you're not. No, nothing is pile. guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. And again, you you get your documents in way after mm -hmm. the first applicants do. So keep that in mind. If you want yes. that first shot, if you want Seoul 100%, I would say go through stri like straight to Epic. Probably about maybe one, two people that applied for, well, though, no that got into Seoul from Corvia in our chat that I know about. Only two. Only two, and there was probably Hundreds. about 500, no, 100, 200, 300 maybe. But my process was, the reason I went with the CIE, I probably should have done more research. Um, I was coming out of a bad spot, and I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna fucking do it. And so it was like the first one that I kind of saw, so I just went for it. Um, and they kind of just kicked me into gear into actually doing it. I'd been talking about going teaching in Korea for years. Mm -hmm. um, and I was actually similar to Odessa where I applied for last intake. Because um, I, I applied in March of last year. When did you apply? I November. technically applied in December for like Ooh. quick, for like those ones after they've put people in. It's that like if they have spots they'll yeah, get you the in. Yeah, extra. Um, oh. And then I applied for the autumn 2019 and then they were like no sorry lol but we'll put you for 2020 yeah so i was similar oh. where i applied for the fall season of last year mm -hmm. um and i just didn't hear anything at all yeah they don't tell you that um, you didn't get it no they just don't you have to ask they just don't contact you and so what ended up happening was that i was i literally emailed them i was like um can you push me back to the next one which um didn't actually matter anyway because I hadn't gotten in so I was automatically pushed mm -hmm. back um, but yeah so that's how I ended up coming in this, this round. round but yeah it was just a bit of a mix and I was actually in Korea in Gangnam in a little goshi one having the flu when I found out <laughs> that, I, got in the middle of nowhere. that I was in the middle of nowhere and mom was in Australia and I'd call her crying like I got in <laughs> and she was like that's great and I'm like no but it's not <laughs> I was at work when yeah. I found out and I'm like, they literally said to me, 100% I will get Seoul. And I'm staring at the screen that said Gangwon province. And yeah. I was like, who and the fuck is Gangwon? With Gangwon, they don't tell you no. which city you're in. No. Like, they don't tell you where you are. No, so you could be in the mountains, you yeah. could be in uh, a beach. You could be on the DMZ. So the documents you need is um, transcripts, mm -hmm. you need your college transcripts. You need an apostilled degree as Oof. well as a criminal record. Uh, you need two rec recommendation letters mm -hmm. as well as a TEFL certificate, 120 hours. Yeah. 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 As well as um, extra documents. You have a whole extra document for uh, Seoul. Yes. Yeah. You need to write an extra like essay kind of thing. It's like a it's like a question with a kind of essay type answer. Yeah. So, um, but not gonna lie, that whole apostle thing. Oh. I would suggest getting that done as, as soon, soon as possible. As soon as you get your documents 
copied. Yeah. Well, yeah. even then, you said that they wouldn't. We wouldn't even in Australia and New Zealand. They wouldn't allow us to have a copy. We needed to take our whole ass degree in. Yeah, to so get properly for for, oh, for yeah. my testimony, I had to go to a notary lawyer mm -hmm. um, yeah. and get it officially copied with a stamp and yeah. a signature. Um, and then I had to go to my university to get them to be like, this is yeah, an official oh, copy. Um, and then I had to go to the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to get my it apostled. Wow. Um, yes. I already. can't talk for everyone in the UK, but mine was pretty easy. It was stressful, like everyone else's. So my documents, so transcripts. I was lucky. I can't speak to everyone's university, but I literally walked into my university as like, <laughs> Can I get some transcripts? Yeah. So I went in there and they were like, yeah, sure. Fun fact, I didn't have to go through that. New Zealand, if you go to the University of Auckland, <laughs> uh, all of our transcripts are only online. Oh, oh yeah. I'm we can't do any, we cannot get them printed. So what happened was I had to go to my university, I had to get them to send an email to Corvia, my recruiter, mm. to get them to send a special password and a link for them to be able to get the transcripts through that link for me to not be able to look at it. I prefer yeah. that though. No, because it got lost. All the of course. all the other what? recruiters were like, I don't understand. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. You don't have your transcripts. And I'm like, look, if you read the 53 emails going back and forth about transcripts in Auckland uh, University, it doesn't work like that. Mm. But I got it done and it's fine. And they accepted it anyway. Corvia had to ask Epic, though, if they will allow it. Yeah. For me, I had to get two criminal checks because it ran out after the third mm. yeah I was so saying, i had to get another I one had to get they two. only last three months no well so, months. okay in australia our police checks actually last a year they cover you for a year but epic only oh. do it for six, six months, months. Mm -hmm. yeah so you have to get one for each time you apply. You, you apply, yeah. So I had to get two, and then yes, I also had to get two in the ass. But getting it to Korea is that the next part? Yeah. Oh, sending it to Korea was probably one of the most stressful parts of the... It costed me around $200. Oh, sorry, it costed $100 per, but I had to send it twice. Oh. Um, and then I had to send extra stuff, extra. So yeah. in the end, it costed me around $250 for sending documents. So you make sure you have everything so you only send it once. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, yeah. It's there was a lot of dilemma with the transcript. So what I had, the issue... I'd already heard from people that had sent them and it had been opened by one of the... Yes, I had to, I was going to say, with my second set of um, police check, I also had to send another set of transcripts because they had opened them. Oh. They opened mine and so they weren't sealed yeah. anymore. One so. of mine was actually <laughs> opened as well, but luckily, when they got to Corvia, um, they were like, we'll keep this one, don't worry. Um, we'll send the one that doesn't look as bad. Did you have any issues with recommendation letters? Uh, no. And mine were pretty simple. I went to university, I was like, yo, teach. Yeah. Remember me? <laughs> yeah, like, one yeah of what them, are you doing? One of them was my lecturer for uni, and one yeah. of them was my boss at work. Mm. Yeah. I had two lecturers. Well, I had the head of dance department and then one of like my professors. Mm. Um, and she wrote a chef's kiss. Uh, I'm <laughs> keeping that recommendation letter because she's yeah. uh, nice. Noise. Mm. Yeah. Intake date. So there's two intake dates. The 1st of March and 1st of September. So there's a... Unless you're... It's a little bit earlier than that, isn't it? Well, technically, so the first day of teaching in the start of the year is, is the 1st, 1st of March. March. You get there around mid-February. Yes. Unless so you're um, the late... Late intake. Int intake, which yeah. you come a, little, like a month later. Yeah. Um, with COVID though, uh, there will be August slash September intake takes, is not. It's not happening okay. because at least of COVID. in Gangwon, it's not happening in Gangwon. Well, I, I think it's everywhere. Is it everywhere? Much is a it lot everywhere? everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Um, so if you are applying or you have been applying for that intake, they will probably push you to next year, but we don't know. For requirements, you need. A bachelor, so a three-year bachelor plus, it can be in any field. Um, you get what, paid more if it's in education. What bachelor do you have, Odessa? I have a dance degree. Graphic design and illustration. I have a stage management degree. Yeah, so we're all over the Qualified. place. Qualified. 
Um, all yeah, you need so is a TEFL um, certificate that you yeah. need to do before you come here. So um, and if you do want to go to Busan, you need at least... I think a year? No, 30 hours of... Teaching. in. Class. Nice 50 hours. 50, 50 hours? hours. Like, you class two. Every time you had to have a year experience. No, you that. can, or you need at least in class hours of 50 hours. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So if I you want really Busan, Busan, you need so. to do a little bit more. So you on? also have to come from an English speaking country. Ah, yes. There are countries that you have to Seven. come from. Seven. So Ireland. New Zealand, Australia, UK, UK yeah. Ireland, South Africa, America, Canada, Canada, Canada. and that's it. That's it. What's the benefits of Epic? So the first thing is housing. So your housing is paid for. So uh, that's real nice. You also get a 300,000 won stipend to decorate your apartment. Just um, for things you don't have. Yeah, so you would have seen in my apartment video that I had pretty much nothing. Whereas he had everything. I kind of had him. She had literally had everyone too else's much. shit yes, I had too in her much. apartment, which mm. is kind of crazy. So keep in mind, you will possibly have people like last year's Epic teachers in your apartment. And yeah. they might have left it looking like a shit. Home. With yeah. the money that you can get, you might not get it straight away. I know yeah. some no, people that yes. got it maybe a I got month it. and a half later than yeah. normal. I got mine with my first paycheck. That's what I did too. Yeah, yeah. me too. Paid flight. You well, get paid, fl paid flights where they just give you money. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. my flights, I was so cheap. I think I, my flight here was $300. Yeah. So and I had a amount of money. Like, an extra $1.1 million to play with. So um, they <laughs> literally give you $1.3 million won for your flight. So yeah. if you get that $100 flight fam, you're balling. Yeah, um, yeah. And the next is you do get severance pay, which is a yes. payout at the end. Um, once you finish your year, but you also, if you re, if you renew, it renew, becomes a renewal bonus. Yeah, and you get more money. Yes. So your pay um, goes up if you renew. No matter what, if you leave or stay, you get more money. Yeah. They just like throw cash. It's really nice. Like you get cash. You as get long cash. as you follow your contracts and you do it, I think it's for uh, you stay here for six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can keep you, it. Yeah. That's if when you, your contract if is you, your, if yeah. you bounce, you have to give no. the money back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, you get 21 vacation days and 11 sick days. 21 or 26? 28, I heard. I thought it was 26. Yeah, I think we actually get 26 I think days we get 26. I'm not sure about anywhere right now. And um, living in Kangwon, you get a rural <laughs> Rural bonus. allowance. <laughs> rural allowance. So, um, Seoul, you start on 1.8 mm -hmm. to 2 million. We start on 2.2. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And after all the taxes, we still get 2 about million. About 2 million ones. So our city is Wonju Shi, um, and because we live in a Shi, we don't get extra extra bonus. We don't get the rural rural bonus. Mm -hmm. There is an actual rural bonus, which is a gun. Get that. I think where my friend lives, Chowon, she's is a gun. a gun. Yeah. So it's Chowon Gun. She gets a rural allowance because it is in middle the middle of, of nowhere. nowhere, and they feel sorry for you. Yes. Let's break down um, our teaching experience. If you're in Seoul, you only teach elementary, but if you're in everywhere else, you, you can, can teach, teach everything. Yeah. Middle school, high school. school. We all teach elementary. That's yes. all we teach. I only have one school. I have two schools. I also have two schools. Yeah. So they have a travel school, and so with travel schools, you get more money. <laughs> Honestly, not that much. No, not that it's not. Much. It's like a hundred thousand one extra. Hundred thousand. For your first school, you get a hundred thousand one, and then any more schools after that, you get fifty thousand one. Yeah. Um, also, your travel school can be upwards of an hour travel time. Yes. yes. That's why it's called a travel school. Yes. My travel school is actually closer to my apartment than my main school. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm Interesting. So I didn't know that. Yeah. So I have oh to. And you don't you find to... out which school you're at until the end of orientation. Yeah. We have been here for how long? Four months? Oh, no. Five. 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 I think I started properly teaching three weeks ago. Or about a month ago. Yeah. 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 Um, month and a half. I teach at my main school, I teach grade five, mm -hmm. and then at my travel school, I teach grade three, four, five, and six, all in one day. <laughs> mm. What do you teach? So I teach grade four, five, and six, both at my main school and my travel school. And the same, four, five, and six. So yeah. what we're doing currently, and what we did for the other three weeks, three months, was <laughs> online teaching. Online so teaching. we created PowerPoints, and they did 
they could we did PowerPoints. sorry yeah. yeah so we did powerpoints and they did it per week and we had to call our students and all that fun stuff um, but obviously that is not a normal circumstance no. we were in a very weird circumstance where we, we had, had to work from quarantine home for a while. we were yeah. working from home for like a good month yeah still getting paid yeah. for sleeping in it was great and doing nothing yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's your teaching situation? So, I oh yeah, teaching situation. I with my main school, I have a co-teacher, but with my travel school, I teach with a homeroom. Teacher. Quick disclaimer: in orientation and just throughout your whole time applying for Epic, you are made to believe you will be working fifty-fifty with a co-teacher. Yes, like it's oh you God. and a co-teacher. Right? Do you remember like the lesson planning? Lesson systems? planning they were like, in it's orientation. It's going to be collaborative. Like you're going to work together. Like we did a whole unit at orientation saying um, yeah I actually am collaborating oh, right, Jane. <laughs> okay so I'm um, I'm literally teaching on my own yes. I have room te homeroom teachers that I make help me but, but then, even then they fuck off yeah. into um, mm -hmm. oblivion or they just sit out the back uh, texting um, I have had a few teachers that kind of help but uh, my school the English is See, with public schools, we have a curriculum, so we have yeah. our books to work from. Not that we knew that when we got here. No. no. We so, thought we were making lesson plans from scratch yes. as well. Well, because I've got uh, a book called Chunje, which is probably pronounced wrong. But basically, I was, I say lucky, but I basically am the games teacher. Mm. Whereas, or I'm reviewing what, we, what they've done in the book, or what the co-teacher has taught them in a book. Basically, they all teach the book side, and I would games. play the games or the review. Games. And you should okay. see Jared's games; they are top notch. Oh, she's kiss. Amazing graphic so, designer over here, though. Actually, so thriving on that online teaching. <laughs> I'm loving it. I don't have to see anyone. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> That was the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see, if you have any more questions that you'd like to ask us, let us know in the comments below. Um, follow us on social media. Yeah, I will link follow. everyone. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. I take pictures of food. <laughs> I will link all their socials down below if you want to check them out. Um, you probably saw them in my They're very cool. previous <laughs> vlog. I love tragic. Followers. All the time. It's great. Okay. Stop bye. now. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>